Uh, been doing some brewing over the weekend, and you know, this I'm not the first person to put Resurgent Belief in a deck and build around it, but I was kind of trying to think of more homes for Faithful Mending. I feel like Mending is still a little underplayed, and I just kept kind of having this thought, like, it would be so nice if we could just play a straight blue-white combo deck of some kind with Mending uh, as, like, your... As your filtering effect, and Belief is kind of perfect. And Mending is actually kind of the perfect card with Belief too, where you can go turn two, suspend Belief, turn three, Mending, and then upkeep Mending again. Um, but the, the big idea here is you have now Thirst for Meaning and Mending to loot Omniscience into the graveyard. So this is this is mostly on an Omniscience control deck, but you, you don't need to Omniscience every single time you go off. You can also just go off with Lay Claim and Shark Typhoon. Put these really powerful enchantments into play. But mostly you want to put an omniscience into play and then buy time until you can do that and then take over the game when you get this. And I've been playing this over the weekend a bit, and it's been surprisingly surprisingly good. Uh surprisingly good. Tell tell, thank you for the 20 months. Appreciate you so much. How are you so good at building decks to make me feel things? I put a lot of time and thought into them. And I also cloaked Phantom for the two months. Thank you much. No room for cast out. Yeah, I, I don't think that there is room for cast out. My first like my first drafts did have cast out, but I I yeah, I don't think there's room. That card's like pretty underpowered to hard cast. Um And really you just like don't need if Resurgent Belief returns you any of these if it's one omniscience is insane, and then like any even like just two, any combination of two of these is insane too. You just don't also need like a random cast out in there. Look, mom. <laughs> look, mom. No legs. Four months. Thank you so much. Drop the hair routine. Uh, I I feel feel like a uh, you know douche for saying this, but I I, I just roll out of bed and uh, I kind of rub, rub my hands through my hair and then it's just kind of good. <laughs> I just have been blessed with very good hair. But yeah, decks been feeling pretty good. Uh, I think I was. I like I was like three and zero in my first league, and then I lost, and then I wanted to change some things, and I changed a bunch of things, and it felt a lot worse. Then I went back to like mostly the first build, and then I I played one more league last night off stream, and I went four and one, so I'm largely feeling pretty good here. Anyways, to get Omni there besides meaning, yeah, you also have thirst for meaning, so you have eight 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 uh, good filtering effects. And then the thirst for meaning being. You know, this three mana draw three is very good to have access to, like, a lot of these kind of effects when you have Omniscience in play. So you can just, you know, filter through your deck a bit. So it looks like blue-white control, so maybe we'll be wanting to play this a little bit slower. They didn't reveal Kahira. They'll just cycle this. Yeah, yeah, I played against Banner Symbol last night for the, the last match of my league. The mana symbol was playing, uh, you know, mono, it was mono green devotion. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Another Teleria West. Hmm. <laughs> I guess this, suspending a belief without um, a steam vents is awkward here because I could suspend belief and then my opponent could. Um, I maybe I should play a T West here actually. Uh, I could suspend a belief, and then but then my opponent could play it to fairy. But if I had access to my steam vents, I could prismatic ending, but I don't. Uh, I enjoy fruit four months. Thank you so much. Oh, it's phoenix. Okay, so now we don't really have to worry about counter spells, which is great. I spent nine months a smoky titan nineteen. So much. This month's ad was for a monitor. How sweet! This month's ad was for a monitor. Oh right, right, right. The the one the one ad you get uh, before you resub. <laughs> so Typhoon is the win con. Um, yeah. You also have late claim. Yeah, the, the I guess I guess you're you're winning the game with sharks most of the time, but you're you're also like just burying them with omniscience as like as the real main win condition. Radical idea. That's a radical idea. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I gave the world such a good Phoenix list. Nobody wants to use it. They gotta add radical idea. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like Faithful Mending is the card that this this deck needed to to work. Is the Brew of Mind? Yeah, it is. Although we we have like, I'm not the first person to like you know, you know build a Resurgent Belief deck. I wouldn't be surprised if like if other versions very similar to this existed. Juno Mongoose, four months. Thank you so much. So they get two Liches. We probably could survive one more turn. We also get we can Prismatic. We we can uh, your Belief next turn. But we, at the time of making this comment, I only have uh, the lay claim in the yard. So if we can maybe hit omniscience, or I mean, if we can hit omniscience, I'll be happy. <laughs> I saw Yindrick running an egg stealth deck supporting running four silence on the side for blue matchups. I'm playing Flusterstorm instead, uh, which I think is better. I guess I'll just discard both endings, which are basically dead here. Hmm. So I guess. Oh, yeah. So this was a belief. Um. So they have eight, eleven. I can gain two up to twenty. We're not likely to die. They have one bolt that's plus six up to seventeen. Cycle and jump with the shark. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be better than casting the thirst. We'll see. We'll just see what they have, what they do. The thirst just gives me more looks at a omniscience, you know. I don't think you can cast research and belief with Dimulich, No. I'm trying to think how likely we are to survive by cycling the typhoon versus thirst, because this puts us to one, I think. And then, so we're dead to Gutshot if we uh, Thirst. We can also just cast Mending to play around Gutshot. So the Gutshot would be under 12, and they have 11. I mean, I feel like Gutshot slash Lava Dart are pretty stock. Is this your Dimulus? No, looks like they've changed it. Of course, like, everybody feels need to change little things. Yeah, I'm going to flashback Mending. Hmm. Yeah, then we could ask for total belief, but we it's not going to be enough here. We could get another shark typhoon into play, but we can't actually cast a spell to trigger it. We get it, we would get a lay claim back which can steal a Dimulich. I think we're going to be a little short here. I'm just going to I don't think we have outs after we cast this thirst, but this combo doesn't do anything here either. Yeah, don't, don't overthink the Kihira, please. <laughs> Kihira is, it's, yeah, it's a free card. It is good. Don't overthink it. Okay. Um, and, and, like, you can put it into your hand and loot it away. And put it into your hand and cast it for free with omniscience. Avacyn, Arik, thank you for your subscriptions. New and one year. So I don't want ending. Um, if they have Graveyard Hate, it's either Leyline or Surgical. Uh, I guess this, I guess... To Fluster Storms, uh, play around Surgical, and Teferi can play around Leyline. Uh, I could bring in Wear Tear, but I don't think I'll do that until I see Surgical. Free cards goes when you're missing something. Yeah, you're not missing something. It's just, yeah, it's just Kihira. What about Cast Out instead of Ending? Uh, ending is, I think, way better. It's like... Like, ending is actually a removal spell. Cast out is only really good. It's it's either four mana or, you know, it's a removal spell when you're going off. When you're going off, you should be, you know, good anyways. I, and, like, ending is also going to be able to exile relics and rest in pieces, which is really important to fairy time revelers. I think you need to play ending. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Any chances worth the basic planes of the deck for myself? Land in spots where I needed white mana. Um, I don't think you want a basic planes. I would play a third white shock land, uh, like a second, second fountain, if you really felt like it. But I haven't really had issues with white mana. Am I missing the trium? I'm playing Steam Vents instead of trium. Um, I already have two Teleria West as tap lands. I don't really want a third. All right, I'm gonna play around like Fluster Storm here. Just get this resolved. Just get those in the yard. Yeah, I, I, I think that 
I, it might just be better that Shocklands are better than Triumphs across the board. Especially, it's like, when you need that third color for ending, like, having it enter untapped is is super relevant. Um, okay, so I want to, to Fairy before I go for my Belief combo. Which just probably resolves. Probably resolves. Now, I only have three as foretold in the deck, as something to note, where, um, like, Re Resurgent Belief is only Suspend 2. Like, you're gonna, if you drive, you, if you have Belief in your opening hand, you're just gonna Suspend it on turn 2 a lot of the time. Um, and, but then as foretold gives you an out to, like, later game, top deck and cast it, but I, I think you're gonna be Suspending this, like, pretty often, and I tried four as foretold and it felt like too many. David, thank you for three months. All right, Bolts to Fairy, passes. All right, yeah, I think we're just going to settle for As Foretold, Belief, Steel Steam Vents. Uh, and then should I keep these in hand to loot away or should I play one? Mm, I think I'll keep them in hand. Dr. Blondie, five months. And Mr. David Yo, three months. Teferi stops uh, Demi Lich casting spells. It doesn't stop Demi Lich from being cast. All right, let's go. All right, game three on the draw. So I'll bring in my Gemstone Caverns on the draw. I'm not 100% I'm not sure about the Gemstone Caverns, but I feel like it makes sense to me. Where deck's kind of slow. Like I, I like I, I like having access to one when I'm on the draw. I'm not sure that I want to main deck it because I this is a counterspell Faithful Mending deck. And so that Colorless Land is kind of awkward with these cards. But if you only have it when you're on the draw, maybe it's good. Green Limit, 13 months, appreciate ya. Got any new Junsack coming to VOD's YouTube? I'd want to go to Channel Fireball recently. Uh, there might be some more going to YouTube, but uh, I don't handle the uploads. I have an editor that does it, so I'm not sure exactly um, how much he's gone through. But I will play Junsack again at some point. I really like the deck. Alright. Kihira. Probably keeping this one too. It, it's slow again. It's probably fine. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you liked the mono black article. I think that was pretty good. I think that's gonna be like a good, a, you know, maybe my recommended budget deck if you. I, I guess definitely my recommended budget deck if you want to get into a mid range deck. Deck was closing good. I think it, my testing was solid. Um, I think with this version I was seven and three. Uh, although I, I did test, I did test a lot of different versions. Um, I did test a lot of different versions. Uh, and, and I, I, I was like, I was like trying to like main deck spell pierce over counter spell. I was trying different number of teferis, four as foretold. Um, but this, the, with this version has felt pretty strong to me. I, I even like very narrowly lost, uh, playing for 5-0 yesterday. Um, well, I'm sorry, sorry. I, I, it was, it was, it was round four that I lost. I think I won match five, but uh, it was a very narrow loss. I was playing against uh, Green Tron, and in game three, I was able to combo off, uh, and I had like Omniscience and multiple Typhoons, and they had an Ulamog in play, and I lay claimed their Ulamog, um, but then they Nature's claimed in response. I also had three Spreading Seeds come back and draw me three cards, and they. They nature's claim the the lay claim in response to the the draw card triggers, so I couldn't counter. Um, and then I had three more lay claims in my deck, and I ha and I got to draw seven cards, and I and uh, se seven out of like seventeen cards or something like that, and I missed. I didn't I didn't find a single lay claim. I think you're supposed to counter metamorphose here. Uh, and then uh, I, just, I I I could have I, I I also had like sixty or like fifty power in play from all my sharks, but. Uh, I couldn't beat uh, the Ulamog mill trigger, and so I lost that match. All right, let's get that to fairy down. Why isn't Trump playing World Breaker instead of Spy with Counter Spell Legal? It seems even better. Would I play it? Mm. I would want to, you know, feel like I'm a very experienced Tron pilot before making that decision. The thing about World Breaker, it's like. Against the creature decks, against like Murktide, against uh, 
Like, like it, it, that card chump blocks Murktide regen, you know what I mean? It chump blocks the hammer time creatures, although maybe the ETB is okay against hammer or the cast trigger. And it's also like, even against counter spells, I mean, I could bounce this. Even against counter spells, uh, wait, wait, why did they bring an Aria Flame? I'm not going to bring a Graveyard Hate. I guess they, you know, I guess it's, I'm in a kind of an unknown factors to some extent. Um, yeah, it's like, you can just let World Breaker resolve. It's really not that big a deal. All right, a little bit flooded here. Hopefully we can, we can at least mending away some lands. Although I might make a 2-2 shark here. I guess if they play Aria Flame again, I might want to just mending in response to try to counter it. What are my thoughts on Urza Saga here? I thought about Urza Saga. We've we've played against Resurgent Belief decks playing Saga, um, but it makes your mana a lot worse than your Faithful Mending deck. You also it also like your deck is very mana intensive, where you're spending your mana to loot and cycle and put cards in your graveyard, and uh, like I'm not really wanting to spend my mana to Saga. Uh, we're also not an artifact deck, so like the Saga tokens are not as powerful as they they might be in other archetypes. Yeah, I th let's mending and maybe try to find another counter spell. We did find another counter spell. I guess I'll discard the painful lands here. What's the plan for this list? Ideally, you can get omniscience in the graveyard and resurgent resurgent belief back into play and pr produce overwhelming advantage. Or you could just get some number of Typhoons and late Claims. Um, and it's been pretty powerful. It's been pretty powerful. They've got two cards in hand. Hmm. Let me... <sighs> Try to think. Yeah, I think I would uh, suspend a Belief if I uh, found one here. She did not do. I don't need to. I, I cited out my ending, so I'll cut. I'll just discard the steam vents, dude. We're so flooded. Twenty-two lands. No enchantments in the yard. Bummer. Not a great showing. Right. Flashback. So maybe we get to fluster storm something. I'll fluster storm anything. They discard two lands as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just start off by minusing here. I might, I might also hard cast Typhoon, which is hilarious to hard cast Typhoon in the deck that tries to reanimate Typhoon. Another land, dang. All right, I'm gonna play another Teferi, I think. Minus, draw card. Okay, thirst for meaning, great. Yeah, we have we've got a lot of filtering, a lot of flood insurance. I should have played my Castle of Antris, though. Be fine. The surgical counterspell deal. Yes, we have uh, twenty only twenty two lands in the deck, and two of those are uh, Teleria Wests, which are good draws. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lands through the deck at the moment. And so, of the 10 lands still in the deck, two of them are will get us our belief, which are, which is a good draw. Uh, the combo is putting Omniscience into play, and then going through your deck while having Typhoon and making millions of sharks. I, I, I'll know all my screenshots from my testing are on my uh, laptop, but I, I did take a couple screenshots. I had some amazing turns. Uh, I, I also recorded my, my CFB video with this deck, and like... Game one, match one is is in, in, is so cool, so cool. Oh, they're merc tiding. Hmm. It's fine. We're at thirty-four. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's just go discard two cards. Okay, I. <laughs> We're late claiming. <laughs> oh no way. We're not gonna hard cast on missions. There's no way. There's no way. I, I am going to lay claim. <laughs> oh, man. Bolt the birdie 16 months. Appreciate you. Limited all-star lay claim. <laughs> yeah.
Bricktide Regen seems decent against their deck. Yeah, Modern Staple, a Claim. Prismatic Ending, My Teferi, Delio. We got one card left. All right, let's mending. I'll discard Omniscience Land. Oh, I might actually not have a, another fetchable. No, I have one. I have one more island. I have one more island. Yeah, this deck's been pretty sweet. Don't think we're gonna get to combo this game, but it looks like we will be off to a one-zero start. Why no Priz ending the enchantment? This it costs seven mana. They have they have to spend seven colors of mana. Can this deck afford a Seagate Restoration? That's a pretty good suggestion. With the Omniscience. Hmm. I mean, it. it's only good when you have the Omniscience in play. And... You know, it is... It, you do bolt yourself. Oh, they drew Wear Tear? Okay. So we're still playing. Let's cast Thirst. Discard the Typhoon. Can, we, can I find a Resurgent Belief? I can kind of. I mean, I feel like this Flusterstorm is super dead, right? Thoughts of Dreadhorde Arcanist and Modern? I haven't, I haven't liked Dreadhorde Arcanist for a while. I, I don't think I like it at the moment. Good morning, Mana Symbol. GG's last night. <laughs> Seemed like a rough matchup. You only won this game by casting two counter spells and seven mana mind control. The Teferis were also really relevant too. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, kind of an anemic game. I agree for both players. Uh, my we got to we got to my opponent played Aria Flame and then we bounced it and we countered it on the way down for another ten life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It does feel like Mono Green Devotion is. Oh no, another. Another rough matchup every time. All right, I want to know. All right, we're on a mold of six. Man is a bit awkward this hand. I'm gonna keep though. I'm on the draw on six. Hope my opponent's playing a slower deck. Yeah, but yeah, this is definitely a very good mending deck. Mending is definitely the enabler that this architect needed. Yavamaya, Ignoble Hierarch. So this is Eldrazi, maybe? Man, man, it's so awkward, this game. Rackalakin, three months. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, black, green. Oh, I just Yogmoth. Okay. Wonder, I'm not sure how our Yogmoth matchup is. Probably okay. Probably okay. Need to draw well here. Is Mending the best Midnight Hunt card for Modern? Um, I think so, yeah. I would say so, maybe consider. Both are pretty good. And this is a deck that doesn't mind cycling Typhoon for zero. Okay, we need to find <laughs> Belief as for told off or Thirst for Meaning. It's kind of asking for a lot, I guess. But, you know, their clock's not that fast. They have three or two creatures in the yard for Grist. If they leave back a bunch of creatures here, we know they have Cord. Okay, no Cord. Yeah, Typhoon's the win con, but like Om Omniscience is honestly like more so the win con. You know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna need a very good thirst for meaning. Maybe I should've gone to five. I'm still trying to figure out the exact range of of mulligans. Yeah, I think here we have to help our opponent uh, kind of just play slowly around a bunch of counter spells. Although I guess they, they saw me discard the Omniscience. They can maybe infer I'm a, more of a combo deck. Udok, six months, thank you so much. 
I don't understand the question, JK. Red card, red card attunement in this list. I'm not familiar with attunement, but you have to, you have to, you can't, uh, you have to put the command in the, in the thing. Okay, they're just gonna cord for messenger immediately. Right, let's go to game two. Discard, draw three cards, discard four cards. Mm, probably not. Uh, this doesn't seem better than thirst for meaning. Maybe though. So their graveyard hate is usually endurance, and we can play around that with counterspell to bury time raveler. I feel like I don't want these lay claims that much. I, think I can just trim two for two gut shots. I could also play spreading seas on the play. I could maybe play spreading seas over lay claim. I think I'm just gonna play two gut shots, two lay claim. Seen some Waylands in Yawgmoth. Yeah, we've got at least Teferi for those. Top card was kind of smoky of Sacred X to zero. Yeah, I guess that was a better line. No, 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 no. The, the turn that they cast the Yawgmoth was the turn we only had three mana. Uh, oh, but we could have, we could have Sacred X equals zero for the cord. But they also have so much access. They have access to so much card draw. It's like really easy for them to find a messenger. Keep this. Turn one higher. I guess we get steam vents because of my ending. I have another. I have a white source, and we don't need like a million white mana. Mending's good. I'll I'll, I'll definitely cast mending end of turn instead of uh, cycle typhoon if I don't need to use my counter spell. Can we find a gut shot? Okay, we can let this resolve pretty easy. If they take my mending, I'm not that bothered. Red Beretta, two months. Thank you so much. Twitch reminds me every time I open the stream, it's been two months. So I'll share that with the world. Thanks, buddy. If I want to play Jessica Burktide deck, how to decide between Ragman DRC version and control version. Mm. I mean, the best way to like know from week to week is to play a lot and kind of understand the strengths and the weaknesses. Uh, of both of them and, and like the big deciding factor is probably going to be like how prevalent is big mana if big mana is uh maybe i should have counted the wall nah. if big mana is really popular and very common then uh you probably want to be playing the creature version and if it's not all that popular it's not all that common then oh man we could have maybe comboed off here if we hadn't gotten thought seized it's fine <laughs> We've got some counter spells to buy time, and then uh, assuming we can flash back this mending, get the omniscience in the yard, we're gonna have a great, uh, great turn soon. BM three months, thank you so much. Uh, I get more money from a five dollar dono than a sub, but uh, I would rather you guys subscribe than do the five dollar dono because you get no ads and you get you know emotes and stuff. So it's not just about me; it's about you guys getting something out of the deal, right? Anderson gifting a sub to Bakery. Oh, dude, I Typhoon triggers Blood Artist. I, that's funny. It was not something that was on my radar. Land. All right, let's go. So we can go off next turn. Will I be going to SCG Con? No, but I will be going to uh, CFB Vegas. Bog for seven months, appreciate ya. Yeah, yeah, I feel like in paper people will miss that like like so like probably more than fifty percent of the time. Okay, so my opponent knows that I have two counter spells in my hand. So I think I'm just not gonna play into Veil of Summer here. They they don't currently have any undying creatures in play. They have one card in their hand. I kind of think it's Veil of Summer. I feel like they would just never run the evolution into into Counterspell. Maybe it's just a sick bluff, but we also like I feel like I can beat this pretty easy. So let me discard Omniscience, Belief. And if the last card is Endurance, then we get to lose. Leppy, thank you for tier one, appreciate ya. Please don't have Endurance as your last card. Or Court of Calling? Yeah, they can also have Court of Calling.
Thank you, thank you, Lappy. Appreciate you. Glad you liked the stream. As a missions work with ending, uh, I think it's like casting it for zero, so you can only XL like a token with it. So they're drawing a card. Uh, they also didn't. They killed their own blood artist. I think that has to be an accident here. Yeah, they killed their own blood artist. You don't have. You do not have to kill your own blood artist. You can put a counter on no creatures, which is a sign of inexperience. I think. Discard, discard, mending, discard, discard, get another Typhoon into play, pass with three counter spells up. You can't cast mending from the yard with Omniscience. Feels good. No, we didn't hard cast any of these type. Oh, we did hard cast this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shocks and Blood Crypt. Red Splash. Alert. Yeah, I think Omni Omniscience counts as hard casting. We can put it as two cards in their hand. I have three counter spells. I have no idea how we could lose from here. I feel like we even beat Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> I don't know what uncounterable thing they can have. Red for Magus and Clothis? Seems these. I also think you could also splash red for Recruiter. Recruiter's not that bad in their deck. So every six months, appreciate you, buddy. All right, they knew I had two, ca they also knew I had two counter spells in their hands, so. <laughs> Or in my hand, sorry. <laughs> veil plus back to nature. I could I counter both of those. You can counter Veil. Vexing Shusher. Yeah, yeah, that's the card. Vexing Shusher does get us. Vexing Shusher plus back to nature. How reliant is this deck on Mending? Um, it's it's more so that you have both Mending and Thirst for Meaning as two looting enablers for your combo. But min Mending is better because it's you know two mana gains you life. But you know, mending is card or meaning is card advantage. All right, so on the draw, bring in the caverns uh, over Vantress. Just go to game, game two, or game three. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I've never seen anybody play Aristocrat, uh, Tom, but it actually seems seems these. I have a lot of nostalgia for Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, so I feel like I can never talk bad about it. This deck doesn't want one copy of Hall of Healy as Generosity as a backup plan. I don't think so. Not in your Counterspell Faithful Mending deck. Uh, Colorless Lands, I do think, come at a cost. I do, I, I'm do. i only boarding in the Caverns on the draw. I did I did definitely consider it, though. Um, this was White Man. I'd be a lot more happy about this hand. That being said, this hand's probably good enough to keep. Opponents, uh, opponents has Leyline, but we have Teferi for Leyline. Although, you know, they, they definitely could just... It's not that hard for them to just re-hard cast. Alright, Messenger is a good clock. Okay, so we have Belief as foretold. Uh, I didn't... I don't think you... You can't play Open to the Sea when you need, like, Mending and Meaning as your filter spells. You can't afford to play a spell like that, I think. I think we have to counter this. And then I think we probably play as foretold if we draw a land. Yeah, because bouncing the ley line doesn't do that much right now. Hopefully they don't have a Yogmoth as one of their last two cards. Yeah, because we could maybe get to a point where we go like tick up as foretold. Take up Astro Told and then go to Fairy Bounce, Mending, Cast Reboot, Cast Belief, and all in one turn. That is true. Leyline uh, or Yavamaya does let us ending for four. We need their hand to be a little floody. Okay, that is definitely seems like it's a little floody. Okay, they've got a spell. It's just a blood earth. Okay, very beatable. Down to twelve. Take up Astro Told. 
You only cast one spell over the after for turn. Yeah, uh, maybe I... Oh, I see, I see, yeah. I see what you're saying. So I guess, I guess what we're going to do is make a 1-1 one, one shark and then not chump block. So that we can maybe just play Teferi and plus, and then next, and then the following turn bounce, and then try to go off. Okay, they're thinking, which means they drew a relevant spell. It's finished nine months. Thank you so much. I'm not sure what they could draw that would require this much thinking. Maybe Eldritch Evolution. Maybe Court of Calling. How would you feel about a Cascade version of this with Arden Plea? I mean, <laughs> a wall. Okay. Uh, you like you lose access to Mending, Counterspell, Ending, which in my opinion is like what I was what I like about this deck. Other like uh, over other like zero mana value combo decks. Like I, I like getting to actually play real spells. And like belief, you could is only suspend two and only two mana to suspend, so you can actually suspend it without it being like this big, terrible cost. So I guess I've got shot the blood artist. You can use Teferi then cast mending in the same turn. Yeah, but then they. Oh, I, I guess the leyline doesn't exile the spells, but I think it's probably better to do it this way. Spinning red mana on gut shot. Oh, I guess I could. I could. Uh, could use. Could have used the as foretold. So this is the last turn we need to fade. Obviously, their 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 draw has been a little anemic. Besides, you know, the ley line. All right, they're passing. Take up the as foretold. Kind of spells a good draw, I think. Can counter that on the way down. We get to go mending. Hmm. I guess I'll lay claim the messenger. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna flash back the mending first. All right, and I can cast the uh, counter spell off as we're told. Cycle Typhoon is probably, yeah, probably, I think it's better to Mending there. Also gives me like two more looks at Omniscience, right? Yeah, Mending is such a good enabler for this deck. Thank you, Mem, or Meme. Meme Vape Lord 420. <laughs> it took me a while to put that username together. All right, two and up, two and zero with a new brew on a Monday, huh? Feels pretty good. Yeah, I, I the decks I'm doing pretty good in testing too. I mean, I, I don't think I broke it or anything, but it does feel like a playable deck and a pretty sweet one too. Glacial Fortress, Glacial Fortress. Sand's probably too good to mulligan. I don't know. If it draws an island, this hand is really good. I think my opponent's multi six. I'll keep keep it greedy. I was thinking about maybe trying to play Pathways over Fortresses. The first time it's really been bad. Okay, it's just a Godless Shrine. We should be fine. <laughs> Yikes. I think this hand is a mull. Yeah, I wouldn't fault you for mulling it. That being, that being said, like, this hand, like, has a lot of our combo pieces. This hand is, like, very, very powerful. And I think that the upside of this hand is good enough to keep on the draw. But I could be wrong. Playing against Reanimator. I beat Reanimator the other day with this. Or yesterday when I was testing. Might be a little slow here. Just, you know, I don't have untapped mana for the counter spell. Tapped. Oh, they're passing. Okay, land. Bummer. We'll, we'll be okay, though. I'll just go discard Omniscience. Keep the counter spell up. Yeah, Lay Claim on Archon's pretty good. Oh, they, they must have. Oh. Okay, well they can't they can't drown this. I'll counter. Uh, weird. 
I guess they must they must have just drawn it. Okay, let's main phase the mending. Let's main phase the mending. And discard, I think, second mending. Lay claim. We do need to find a belief. We have four copies of belief, of course, then two uh Telaria West to tutor them up. Is this going to be on burial rights? Probably. Want to play 2 3 Chalice? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, not being able to play it at zero is a big cost. And it's also like, again, your combo is pretty mana intensive here. I don't know that you have the luxury of playing Chalice in this deck. All right, I guess I'm going to pass back. You need to find Believe. All right, I'm going to just take the nine here. If we, we, do, we do, I think, just almost win on the spot if we can find Believe and resolve it. Do we need to counter that? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna mending and give myself the best the best chance to find uh, belief next turn. So value nothing infinite. I mean nothing infinite, but you can make like forty power in sharks and then pass the turn with counter spells up. It's it's like it's not like literally deterministic, but it's effectively deterministic. I know people get really uh, picky about calling decks combo, but I feel like it's this deck. I think is. Pretty clearly combo. Um, okay. Um, I can ending the Teferi. If I bounce the Archon, they just get to loot it away and then reanimate it. It's probably okay, we found the Belief. One card, like, just... Hopefully it's not one card too... Too deep. We get to, go, we get to bring back Lay Claim... Typhoon, Typhoon, Omniscience. Assuming they don't have a counter spell. I guess we'll lay claim the Teferi, assuming assuming this resolves, which I'm not that optimistic. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We're so stupid lucky. I think we're supposed to bounce Archon. Could have also bounced the Typhoon and got another 6 6 Shark. Alright. Pretty good. Can't, cannot mending from the graveyard with Omniscience. Maybe, yeah, maybe they thought Teferi stopped it. I mean, probably not. <laughs> Trying to cast something. <laughs> this deck makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, it. It is it is working a lot more than I expected it to. I'll say that. It's working. It's working. It's a fairy lay claim, then claim archon. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that line. That seems pretty good. I'm gonna go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. If we might, if we, if we do this turn, you, you're probably talking about last turn. But if we did that this turn, then we the lay claim goes to the graveyard in response to the, the minus. So I think I'll go. Three tin tin sharks. Bounce. Yeah, I guess I'm mending first, but we can get more sharks here. If I find like two counter spells, I'll hold up the counter spells. Now I guess I'll attack with my 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, it's a fairy bounce omniscience, replay omniscience, get three 10-10s. Ten it's pretty good. Play this so they can't make me discard it with Archon. Oh no, we're dead to Sarah's Emissary! Ah! Damn it! <laughs> no! <laughs> exactly at nine. I don't think we had a different line though. 
<laughs> we're losing from the sports state. Draw to fairy. We're dead. We're dead. We're just dead. <laughs> awesome. What a game. I know. <laughs> they needed to find a counter spell there, I guess. Stop the service because practically different services. I don't want to hear any lawyers in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it is value, I guess. Not a real combo, huh? No, this is not a combo deck. It's a Mitsu aggro deck. Shark aggro. Where can you find a new Phoenix list? I couldn't get the mini last Friday to put in paper. If you, it should be in the stream deck if you type exclamation point deck. It hasn't changed that much. The main deck I think is the same. Translucent, thank you for Twitch Prime. Have I stolen Thrun the Last Troll with Lake Cream? No, we have not. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I call Tron combo or control. I would call it ramp, ramp control maybe. Ramp combo. It's pretty good if we draw a land. I'm gonna mulligan. Opponent also goes to six. They're still debating on their their mulligan though. When you cast Lay Claim, is there a target? Uh, when you cast it, yes. When you put it into play for off belief, there's no target, though. When it says QAQ, what does that mean? Is that like an emote? What's your consideration against cyclers like cast out? Cast out sucks, is my main consideration. Uh, is that, the, I don't know. I know that's not like a really good argument, but. It's just kind of weak, I think. Uh, it doesn't really accomplish very much when you're cycling it. Uh, I want to put in Typhoon Omniscience Lake Claim. I don't want to just like have my combo B get to remove like a couple permanents. Alright, it's a good draw. And it's like it's like you're not gonna hard cast cast out very often, and when you do, it's not gonna be very good. And you like I I would I would much rather be able to fit in more interaction with like the prismatic endings counter spells to fairies, which is just hard to do if you uh, include cast out. Thirst for memeing, it's not bad. It's not a bad name. I'm gonna meme. I, I'm gonna meme here. <laughs> Would I play standstill if it were legal? Uh, I don't think so. Like, this is a for this is modern. Like my my opponents, there's a lot of one drops in modern. Uh, my opponent just plays any one drop, and I look at the, all these standstills in my deck and regret my decisions. Do you ever test a real stream that does great and then test it, and then on stream it tanks? Yeah, yeah, that yeah that happens for sure. Uh. I usually talk about it when it does happen. I think, like, maybe, like, the most notable example of that happening would be the first time I played the Bring to Light Valky deck. It, it was just so good off stream. And then I had, like, I ran really bad. Like, I lost to Ponza, which is not a great matchup. And I also got, like, pretty unlucky uh, in that match, I remember. And then and then we played against Mono Blue Tron. Does anybody remember if it was two or three times in a row? It, it, it was two or three times. I can't remember how many. But it was a it was a silly amount of times. I think I'm gonna transmute a T West here. Even if they reanimate an Archon, we can just lay claim it next turn with counter spell up. It was two, yeah. I can't remember. But then, but but like, it, Mono Blue Tron had like you know a very good matchup against the deck, and I just had a lot of people in chat going, Spike. I don't know about this one. I think this is a failed brew. But then I played that deck for like months, and I I loved it. Did very well with it after like that first stream. But, so, but also sometimes I'll have a brew off stream that does pretty well uh, off stream and I'll play it on stream and then it, it, it will just not be a good deck and I'll have gotten lucky off stream and not really realize how lucky I've gotten 
And it's kind of hard, at least for me, to tell to always tell like is this deck good or or am I just running well? And I think a great example of that would be the Teamer Cosma deck, where people in chat kept going, "Spike, we need to test Cosm Cosma, Cosma. We need to test Cosma. This card is great." Okay, Thoughtseize is really really bad for us if they can also combo this turn. Um, and I I, t I, t I played one league off stream. I five owed very easily. I wasn't still I still wasn't sold on Cosmonaut, but then the deck felt bad the whole time. Yeah, Thoughtseize was so perfect here. So we got Archon of the Yard. We still have Counterspell up. Okay, awesome draw. Should I plus? I think I'll minus. If I draw a land, I want to be able to Thirst. End of turn. Don't mind that. Best bet would have been Bounce Archon. Yeah, that's true. If we had bounced the Archon, then we were doing a lot better that turn. Yeah, I, I should I should have definitely just bounced the Archon last turn. As that last game, we would have easily won, I think. We would have had, you know, 30 less power, though. I'm actually... I would I think this is the card I would have wanted them to take the most. I, don't, I feel like with this hand, we can easily suspend a Resurgent Belief. I also might just win with the Shark. Especially if we draw another one. Uh, okay, we have five mana, so there's not really a combination of six mana we can use. So I'll just play this tapped. I guess I could belief or meaning into meaning or typhoon. Is it Kahira time? I feel like it's Kahira time. Kier time's usually sad time. <laughs> so we decide Counterspell is better than Mana Leak in the end. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all the... I think Mana Leak will still see play in some deck spike. <laughs> Shatters. <laughs> yeah, I think, think Counterspell ended up being the better of the two. Poor Mana Leak. Kahira control. What about running Seal of Cleansing and the board over Wear Tear? Albeit slower, has more synergies with the deck. Hmm. Well, one thing is like Wear Tear is largely in the sideboard to destroy graveyard hate. So it's like Seal of Cleansing, you sack it, then they exile with their relic and stuff, or it gets exiled to rest in peace. So I feel like it doesn't really accomplish your goal very well. And that being said, I don't I don't hate the suggestion. I'll have to think about it a bit more. But I think I like just go into instant speed. Destroy the graveyard hate, untap combo is really important, I feel. Opponent revealed to me that their fun was being raveled. Dr. Berserker, 14 months, thank you so much. All right, resubmit. I played this matchup yesterday, it felt pretty good. Chalice, yeah, I, I think that Chalice is, would be fine in this deck. The problem is that it's like your deck is so like light on spots for interaction. I did, I did consider it. I considered sideboarding it too, but it's like, this is your combo, these are your combo cards, these 19, which is a, a huge chunk of your deck, even though you get to cycle these 8, you have like 11 hard combo cards, 8 kind of clunky cyclers, although maybe you can make an argument that only lay claim is a clunky cycler, you have 8 good filtering spells, you need to play all of them, and then you kind of have, I think like this, this like these cards are pretty like locked in. And you, you, I think you could maybe cut the late claims. Like, I actually think you could maybe cut late claims and just be Omniscience Typhoon. But these are the other cards you have to work with, in my opinion. And I don't think that there's room. I think you need the endings, you need the counter spells, you need the Teferis. But yeah, you could maybe cut late claims. But I would probably be cutting late claims for, like, Cryptic Commands or, like, Spell Pierce. Just more interaction. Hmm. This hand's very tempting. I'm going to mulligan, though. Is cast out just bad for what? Yeah, there's not room for cast out in this deck. We're not gonna add Yorion. It's just like the payoff's not that big and you have to put cast out in your deck. Did I say payout or payoff? Pay the payoff is not that big. I think we get a little greedy and put back planes here. 
opponents mold the six. They have Leyland of the Void, which they didn't show us last game. We ha can only bounce this with Teferi, but also this hand might just, like, Typhoon them, like, last game. Um, I think I'll play the T. West on one, even though we're, like, a little fragile to Unmarked Grave. Is it 100% Jimson Cavern over Castle on the draw? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I've been doing every single time. You could build this as a Cascade deck. I think it would be worse if you did. Like, I think, like, the reason to play this deck over, like, over the Cascade decks is you get to play cards like this. Uh, you get to play M Mending, too, which is really important. Like, yeah, this deck is so much worse if you don't play Mending, right? Like, your, your Cascading into Belief sucks if you can't Mending your Omniscience into the Graveyard. They took my Counterspell, okay. So we're gonna get to Ferried. Yeah, fair enough. They got to ferry last game. We got to ferry this game. Make a 1 1 shark. Might have been better to main face Thirst than make a 2 2 shark, because then we actually can like threaten to kill the Teferi. But this also like manages the loyalty. Maybe we could draw another shark typhoon. That would that definitely make this line better. Can you run Archon of Sun's Grace? I mean, it's not that that card's too greedy, it's that that card is really underpowered in modern. This is just not, this isn't standard, you know? Oh, maybe I should have Kahirid here. Yeah, it's a Fairy of the Fun Raveler, Ruiner of Games. Does that maybe want to run play Gifts and Given Fairly? I don't think so. I think that Thirst for Meaning and Mending are better enablers for this deck. Is there no consideration for Ancestral plus As Foretold? I, again, like, your Ancestral doesn't have synergy with your enchantment theme. This deck is very, very synergy-based combo deck. You just can't afford, I think, to, like, clunk up your draws by playing Ancestral Visions. It's like, like, like Visions is a really weak card if if not cast off As Foretold. And I know we're playing As Foretold in the deck, but it's like, all of a sudden you have, like, just more draws where you just draw the wrong half of your deck and things are clunky. I I sorted out my my uh, ending, so I'm not gonna get the steam vents here. Yeah, I feel like I definitely should have gone for Kira. The turn before. It's a fairy time lover ruins more games than run six. I feel like that is an ice cold take. <laughs> Nims, <clears throat> that to fairy time revelers ruins a lot of games. Ice cold take. But, but, I, true, I think. It's very Time Raveler is not a very fun card. I think we're all on board. I also think I might hard cast this late claim. I do not need to be sold on Teferi being unfun and not well designed. Although, that being said, there's also, like, more answers to it. Like, it, like specifically Prismatic Ending, I feel like, has helped the Teferi problem a lot. Typhoon, too. Kihira is an excellent answer to Teferi Time Raveler, apparently. If you want to lay claim, don't hit Teferi. No, we need to kill this Teferi and save the lay claim for, like, their Archons and stuff. Because I think that they, they might have Archon in their hand that they're going to hard cast. Yeah, if you don't like Teferi, just run Kihira, dude. The ultimate answer. Lay claim, lay line. Yeah, actually, Lay Claim Lay Line's not that bad here. Although, like, never mind. They're they're also they're one man away from hard casting Archons. Hopefully, we can draw around to Fairy. That would be really nice here. Counterspell's pretty good. Dude, Kahira's just gonna win us both games. <laughs> Let's go, Kahira. Is Shark Typhoon the only win card in this deck, Spike? Is Typhoon the only win card? Do, are you, do you guys not see Kahira? <laughs> Why play lame game with Omni and play? We should win anyways. Well, the idea is that, like, Lay Claim allows you to just put Lay Claim and Typhoon into play, and that's gonna also be game-winning or effectively game-winning in, in a lot of your games. Can I double Fluster Storm this? No, because I counterspell. I could let it go. 
But there's a chance I actually get to Flusterstorm if I counterspell this because I have the storm count. Um... But yeah, the idea is that like you're not all in on omniscience if you play late claim. Late claim is a really powerful enchantment to, to bring back as well. Uh, that being said, I I, I I definitely am considering cutting the late claims and just playing more interactive spells. Like specifically Cryptic Command when you have omniscience in play seems pretty sick, but Cryptic is also a pretty slow card, so I'm not sure. Yeah, draw a key here at every single game. Are they out of fetchables, do you think? No, they probably they must have a swamp. Why no charms? We have too many three drops. I guess I'm just gonna let this go. So like my hand is like vulnerable to thoughts he's now that the counter spell's gone. They'll take a late claim. Can run four threads, yeah, yeah. I there's also that one card out of time. I need to listen to that Out of Touch by Daryl Hall. Uh, but I feel like Out of Time is an interesting card, too. I haven't tested it yet. Yeah, I feel like the last card has to be Archon here. They still have eight mana yet. <laughs> All right, it's a draw. Card that's in our deck. Down to five. So if they draw an untapped land, they get to Archon. It's kind of nice if we hit them for four more, though. They can't fetch to put Archon in play. Just draw Thoughtseize. I'll mark Grave. So if I Flusterstorm, they have to pay two. Then they have to pay three. Okay, so I have to let this go. Saga will be next level Belief. I've played against Saga with Belief, but actually, the, I think that the Saga is very mana intensive in this deck, and like your deck is very mana intensive. Playing all these cyclers, it's also a callless source in your in your mending deck, which is a bit awkward. I don't think you want to play Saga, but like I, I have seen it before, it didn't seem bad. Show me Doom foretold in this list, and you get a tier three sub. I can't compromise my uh, integrity like that. They get mending in the yard, which I'll definitely flusterstorm. <laughs> Although I guess yeah, they can yeah I can double flusterstorm the mending on my turn. What a game. Okay, that's my seventh land for lay claim. I'm gonna hold it, I think, just to not let them know that I have it. Tempted to lay claim their ley line. Yeah, I, I, I can only this, only, this is only the first turn I could cast lay claim. But their last card I feel like has to be Archon. Just nothing else makes any sense. Wait, what does this mending even do? I guess, the, I guess if their last card is Archon, what does this mending even accomplish? Not much, but it's not like the Fluster Storms are going to be good. Yeah, Hall of Heliod's Generosity, again, we're a, a faithful mending counterspell deck. The Colorless Land, it costs a lot. Like, I would probably play a Gemstone Caverns over Hall anyways. But Hall is like, it's not the worst idea. I, I definitely considered it. Steel land. It's not too bad either. Alright, so but now fetch lands are turned off, so they have to draw basic land or check land if they're playing those. Dude, Kahir is actually just winning us this match. One games two and three. As I remember I I used to play Kahira and Ant back before the in Legacy, before, before after the Luris ban, but before the companion nerf. You get mending in the yard. Yeah, I consider cast out. I think cast out's bad. Okay. So if they find if they discard Archon, find Persist, they get out of this. They discard Leyline, Flooded Strand, and concede. Let's go. Three zero. Three zero. I uh I was at I was three zero yesterday, for my last league, and I lost a really sick game to Mono Green Tron. I keep this. I think it's a Luris deck. I think I was playing Fountain tapped on one. And then probably suspending belief on two. We'll see, we'll see what like Luris deck they're playing. Have we got any sick rebliefs off yet? Yeah, we've we've had a we've had a couple. We actually that that match against Reanimator, we won game two and three with Kahira beatdowns. Game one, we put like 60 points of power in play with an omniscience and sharks in play. 
But but I, I didn't bounce the Archon. I got greedy and bounced on missions to make three Tintin Sharks. And then they Sarah's Emissaried on creatures to attack me for Xaxes through all my blockers. But that was the game we lost <laughs> of that match. It was the game we comboed off. Strong games against you. They were really fun games. And I was screwed for spreading seeds of the forest. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't think about the Nature's Claim. Oh, no. I could have 5 0 maybe. My next round was... Uh, I, I won against Mana Symbol. But that was a great match, dude. GG's. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, against uh, against the discard deck, I'm definitely going to just suspend Belief here. And then what's really nice about Mending is you can go Mending on turn 2, uh, or turn 3 after you suspend the Belief, and then you can upkeep Flashback Mending before the Belief resolves. So Kahira Control. Yeah, yeah, Kahira is the real win condition of this deck. Shout out to that 15 sideboard card. We, we, we would definitely be 2 and 1 right now without that 15 sideboard card. It's not even close. Oh, yeah, my friend Zach loves Annex. <laughs> loves Annex. <laughs> Annex is a 4 mana enchantment that lets you steal a land. No! Main deck Nile Spell Bomb? I guess it's just Jun Saga. That stinks. <sighs> Disaster. Prismatic Ending, please. Definitely a big, you know, negative for this deck is a lot of people are main decking these kind of cards. Although. Although. If they don't discard my Mending or my Omniscience, they'll definitely Spell Bomb before... Yeah, they'll Spell Bomb before the Mending, the Belief resolves, and then we get to loot this into the yard. Come on! Come on, give me a break, please! Ugh. The, the Darcy decks never give you a break, dude. They never give you a break. I guess we could draw another looting effect. No, we can't, because it's... Comes off on the upkeep. Do I flashback this mending? I feel like we've got no chance, but I'll just do it. Can ending a, one of the tokens, we're just in really bad shape. I'm sad. Maybe not. We need to go mending, gain two, put omniscience in the yard. If we draw land, as foretold, belief. I guess we just have no cards and we have the omniscience in play though. Probably not probably not winnable. We couldn't loot after the bomb went off. No, if the bomb if the bomb goes off, they exile the mending. Yeah, the the mending is exiled, so we can't loot after because we we would have been able to go off with omniscience if the ink was if they'd had an, also ha, also had the inquisition. We draw mending off the cycling. Yeah, we can we can draw we can draw ending off the mending cycle for Tarmogoyf and then potentially win. But I mean, yeah, we're not zero percent. We're in really bad shape. I think I'll just, I guess I'm not that cold to the slot seas. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the main board gra graveyard hate is a big problem for the stack, of course. What are you gonna do? Oh, you have you have ending for the main that graveyard hate at least. <laughs> okay, flashback. I want gut shot. I don't want counter spell. I want the wear tears. Got the fourth late claim. I guess I'm not that into these Teferis either. Maybe I'll go minus two late claim. Or maybe I'll go minus one as foretold, keep in three late claims. Or I could keep in one Teferi. And then I can also play spreading seas on the play. I don't think I'm that likely to want spreading seas on the draw, but I think they're actually probably good on the play. Ever consider Stony Silence, Seal of Cleansing? Yeah, I, I, I did consider Stony Silence. Uh, Stony Silence might be 
better than like the third wear tear. Um, I don't know about seal of cleansing though. Like seal of cleansing doesn't seem any better to me than wear tear. It seems worse. I guess it's like it's a little bit easier to cast. Yeah, Niki here to carry this game. Am I considered a Cascade version? I think a Cascade version is worse. Like, yeah, I think the reason to play this over, like, Living In is you get to play, like, Counterspell, Prismatic Ending, Faithful Mending. Faithful Mending specifically is, like, is, in my opinion, the enabler that makes this deck work, so. Just not into it. But most of five. Omni Overlay Claim. Claim gonna be a functional card redraw. Uh, I mean, this deck... You want to get omniscience into play. Like, that's how you heal you win. You can maybe trim one, but... Omniscience is the game-winning card. I feel like this deck needs to be less engraved to be good since the cards are more impactful. This deck needs less engrave to be good since the cards are more impactful. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by, by that. You mean, uh, like, less... Like, you just need Typhoon, Lay Claim, Omniscience? Because I... Because I, I think I have built this deck to be somewhat not graveyard dependent, great draw. But I'm not sure if I'm reading your comment correctly. Why does Esper told not see play with other suspend spells like Rhinos? Well, they, they play the suspend spells, or the cascade spells to enable rather than this, which requires you to have already drawn this. Where do you think Blue Moon falls in the meta? Blue Moon's very good. Blue Moon's very good. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ragavan, no fun. Any consideration for Leyland of Sanctity? Uh, yeah, you could play Leyland of Sanctity. It's also an enchantment. Uh, I'm not sure ex exactly how you'd find room for it, though. It's also true, like, our suspend spell is, like, way easier to just suspend and cast. What's our plan to win with Omniscience? It's Omniscience, so we have a lot of draw spells, counter spells, typhoons. We don't, we don't, like, literally win the turn, we Omniscience, but you have, like, a lot of, like, filtering spells and Teferis and Typhoons, and you just, you know, generate a ton of value. Not a true combo deck. The title is Clickbait. Rhino Variant with Counterspell. I mean, that, a Rhino Variant with Counterspell is much worse, with uh, you know, and as we're told. Like, the strength to Rhinos is that... Like, like, being reliant on only As Foretold and drawing Rhinos is much worse than just having Charlotte's Aged Violent Uppers that always hit Rhinos. It's way more consistent. And, uh, as my father always used to say, more consistent equals more better. It's pretty good. I have another monkey, so I guess I'm typhooning again. Uh, I haven't used the new Teferi on account of that card not being any good. I think. I don't know. If, that's, if that card is playable in Modern, I just don't see it. Imagine I'm going to make some Saga tokens. Wear Tear would be a great draw. Okay. So I guess I'm going to go as foretold this turn to play around discard spells a little bit. Yeah, we have Kihira. <laughs> yeah, the the Teleri West just trans transmutes for... Um, I guess you can also get Castle Vantress, but it, it transmutes for Resurgent Belief. Just just that. I don't have like a Teleri West package. I'm only playing two. I play around Needle here. How do you get me to play Carthal? I know you want to. Uh, I've got a sassy response for whenever someone suggests that I play Carthal. I'll spare you this time. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't like Carthal at all. That card's not close to good. Okay. Transmute. Yeah, I think we just force both spell bombs to shrink the constructs here. So we cast this. 
They'll sack a spell bomb. Then I'll cycle late claim after this resolves. I could also mending. I think I'd rather do the late claim plan. Yeah, I feel like this is a good exchange for us. Constructs are a lot smaller. We have as we're told stone play. We have mending to loot omniscience into the yard. I'll save the scalding turn to loot, I think. Well, I guess not. I guess now I'll play the fortress because we have two good cards to loot away. I see Caleb play Replenish and Legacy. I didn't I didn't know, but I've seen Replenish uh, Legacy in the past. Okay, bolts me down to seven. I'm dead to another bolt. I'm not dead to Ragavan. Um, not dead to... I think it's just bolt here. Okay, Rin. I imagine they get back Saga here. They just ping me? Interesting. I feel like I would have got, got back Saga. Interesting draw. I guess, should I, what should I do? Mending or Thirst? I guess I'll Meaning first. Spreading Seas, Wear Tear. Interesting. So we discard the Omniscience. Thirst for Meaning. Uh, I guess I'll play the Island. Need to find another Belief. Hmm, did not. Life total is at four now, so we can kill this. Can kill it with Asphodel. I guess I'll. I guess I'll go cast this with Asphodel, and then I can w tear this also with Asphodel, or it doesn't really matter with or without. Then we're going to two effectively. We're told on three we can wear tear. I think you can fuse off of two. I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I, I think it gave me the option. To, to fuse on three before, but I don't, I'm not sure that that's how it should work. And they missed their attack here. Yeah, it is, it, Judge, can you fuse off? No, it fuses from hand. Fuses from hand. But this is from hand. Yeah, Judge, does anybody know? Yikes, yeah, that's a punt. What's the punt here? Oh, the, the missed attack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a punt. Usually I see people say punt and chat, and I think they're talking to me. I can ping this. It's working. It's working. Cast with omniscience. It's kind of funny. Pass to you. Can't you just play all the spells for free? What? I can now. Wasn't it better to wear there? To wear where? The token? I feel it was better to gutshot the token. I might I might tear the saga to get another token to tech ran. I think I'm just gonna draw. So I can Kihira in hand cast Kihira for zero mana. I'll use the as for told, so as for told feels like it's still contributing. And then I guess I'll just kill the Saga now. Can you explain why you didn't spring Seize the Saga before casting Belief to draw two cards? The Saga would die, you get it back. Oh, that's what I missed. Yeah, I missed I missed that the Saga would, that the Spreading Seize would die. I forgot, I don't know why I forgot that, but yeah, I, for whatever reason, I was not thinking that the Saga would die there. Get the upkeep stop too. Why did I pay for Thirst, for example? I mean, uh, oh, so yeah, the, the turn that, so as we're told, only lets you cast one spell per turn with the number of counters. So I spent mana on the thirst so I could still, because as we're told is the only way to immediately cast Resurgent Belief. So we needed to save the as we're told ability for when we found Belief. Okay. Uh, 
I guess, I mean, Omniscience is a 10-10 shark for zero mana. I'll probably keep that. So we draw. And then I think I scry before, I believe. Okay, pretty good. Going to game three. Be two Nile spell bombs out of the game. It's kind of nice. Bring in the caverns. Was dress down considered? How did I forget about dress down? I'm not sure that you need it here. Because you're already, you're already like pretty good against like a lot of the cards that dress down is good against. But. I did totally forget about Dress Down, that it does have synergy in the deck. I'll keep it on my radar. I, I don't think that I want to add it, though, for right now. Okay, keep. Little, hand a little soft to Ragavan if we don't draw untapped white mana. Cut season the draw. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, the seas, I think, are still fine. Bummer. So Gutshot or untapped white source is pretty good here. That's neither of those. I'm trying to think if there's any chance. Yeah, I guess I'll play Fortress in case I draw Untapped White Source and they play Saga. I want to go Ending plus t Wear. Is Dress Down good versus Cavern plus Endurance? That's like a really narrow thing. I mean, it's not that narrow because of because of uh, of course Elementals, but you also have Teferi to play around Endurance. Also, elementals are not that popular at the moment. This is another thing to consider. Pretty good. Probably need to keep the Tolaria West. Maybe I should, I should play the island though. How's just Sky Phoenix be with Endurance? Just just on Torp Orb. Uh, I've added a Blossoming Column to the sideboard, which can counter Endurance's ETB. The 3 4 reach is also a problem, but you can also somewhat play around Endurance by, if you have Dimmy Lich in the yard, and casting it as soon as you get priority can help you play around it a little bit. If we play more just Sky Merc, uh, not, not in the last few days, but it has felt really good. I still like that deck a lot. I probably would play it in a tournament if I had a tournament today or something. Three card types. It's like two bubbles in the yard here. My opponent's draws games one and three have been really good. Shun Saga is a really good deck. And another, and a Nile spell bomb. Let's see if they get Delirium here. They do get Delirium. Probably game, right? Yeah, I, th I consider it out of time. I, I'm not not convinced it's something I want, but it's like I did consider it. What my current sideboard Phoenix look like is a stream decker. It might be. Um, I remember. I think I was cutting fluster. I wanted to cut fluster storms for something. Let me see if I actually remember what that was for. Yeah, I feel like the fluster storms are not that necessary. I feel like the cascade matchups are actually kind of fine. Yeah, I wanted to cut the, the Fluster Storms for Graveyard Hate. Um, but I wasn't sure if I want to be on Leyline, too. Art Pound, five months. Thank you so much. Image 2 has been out for five months. Jeez, time really flies. And they killed my, my guy. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, 3-0 still tends to be a pretty rough round. Deck's still feeling really good. Three and one with the new brew on a Monday. Always a good spot to be. Zero lander. Keep this. Put back second ending. Jack, six months. Thank you so much. How do you determine how many of a card you put in your sideboard? Um, 
I wrote a deep dive on building sideboards in modern for channelfireball.com. If you want like a really long-winded, uh, like 3,500 word answer, you can uh, check it out there. And I, I, you know, talk a lot about it. But the the real answer is a lot of times when you build, especially when you build a new brew like this, your sideboard is somewhat guesswork. Although there, it's like an educated guess based on your experience in the format and your read of the metagame and your understanding of your archetype. But it is largely a guesswork because, or at least in, with my process, I guess. It's, you know, I tend to build a sideboard, kind of a rough draft, and then over time as I test and tune, the sideboard ends up changing a lot. And the sideboard ends up evolving as I figure out what the deck needs. Uh, I know we have no enchantments yet. It's kind of risky to suspend there. We did just draw Thirst for Meaning, so I, I'm pretty optimistic that we can find an enchantment or two. Um, would Weightlifting be worth in deck? I don't think it necessarily is good in the metagame at the moment, but it, it is an option to consider, and it, it, I'm sure it will be good in some metagames. But the idea is, like, as you, like, figure out, like, what your good matchups, what your bad matchups are... Like, it, like, say you have, like, the best cyborg card in your in access to your colors, right? Um, and, but your matchup against, like, the, the, the matchup that your cyborg card is good against is pretty good. So maybe you could leave that at home and then compensate for your your better matchups, you know? All right, not too scared of the old 1-1 one, one walking ballista here. Okay, Mending's a good draw, too. Would you bring Phoenix to a large event not good enough? I, I, I would, I think. Maybe not right now, because there is a lot of main deck graveyard hate, which is also like a bit awkward for this deck. Um, but this deck is also like more of an unknown quantity, which is why I've been I, winning with it, I think, because people don't really know what's up. So they play Thought Not Seer. I think I have to Mending and not over Thirst, because if, if I go Thirst and take my Mending, I can't get another looting effect in response to the uh, Suspend. And I bricked a bit here. So they, I imagine they take Thirst for Meaning. I feel like you've been incurred by discarded Graveyard. I feel like White Line is somewhat of an answer. Oh, dude. Yeah, Leyline stops Nile Spellbomb. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't stop... Relic is also really popular. It doesn't stop Lantern, but... Yeah. Oh, no, they have Chalice on Zero. Bummer. Yeah, Chalice is also a problem, for sure. Probably dead. You could have gone draw three to discard enchantment plus mending. I'm confused by the statement there. You could have gone drawn three, discard an enchantment plus mending. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it doesn't stop rest in peace. Yeah, so if we want the ley lines, we could cut the spreading seas. I feel like spreading seas are important. Um, can maybe just like cut the gut shots, cut the gemstone caverns. Okay, here has been really good. I feel like the fluster storms are good too. I don't hate the I don't hate the thought though. Okay, their draw is very good against ours. Yeah, Leyland does stop Endurance too, but it's like kind of hard to bring it in against Endurance. Bring in the Spreading Seas, the Wear Tears, and then I think I need to keep Prismatic Endings for Chalice and Relic. I'm gonna cut the Teferis pretty easily. Is there anything else that's kind of weak? I think I cut the third as foretold. I could go down on counter spells. Counter spell is pretty good against Etron usually, especially on the play. I cut the fourth thirst, fourth typhoon, fourth counter spell maybe, maybe fourth prismatic ending. Let's do that. Maybe I should cut late claim over typhoon, even though late claim is pretty good against them. Typhoon is just stronger in general. Mulligan. I mean, it's it stinks to have to mulligan a double spreading seas hand against Tron, too. What are you going to do? Keep this is what I'm going to do, I guess. 
I wonder if you really need a bunch of omniscience in the deck. Yes, you do. You really do. Uh, I, I I think so at least. Like omniscience. I played this deck, uh, when I was playing this deck yesterday, I was winning a lot more with Omniscience than I have been in this league, but Omniscience is the best thing to get back with Belief. It, it's the best thing, and it's not even really close, to be honest. It's not, it's not close between Omniscience and Resurgent Belief, uh, which being, you know, which one is more powerful to, to, or sorry, Omniscience than any other enchantment. It's, it's definitely Omniscience is the most powerful one, and... These are your most powerful draws. Just getting back like a bunch of dress downs and cast outs and lay claims just feels so weak to me compared to this. And obviously it increases variance in your deck a little bit, but you also have you have mending and, and thirst, like to have a lot of good enablers too. So I don't have red mana, I'll discard that one. <laughs> hey Itashi. The spot where Triumph looks good. That is true, yeah. That is true. I think I think in this deck specifically though, these steam is better for sure. Where like a lot of times you suspend belief on turn two and your opponent plays it to fairy, and you need that steam to enter untapped so you can ending for three. I really, really think the steam is much more important for that reason. What do you think about the blue black thing in the ice deck? I still like that deck. I haven't played it in a while though. Ragnar, four months, thank you so much. Um, I think I'll make a 1-1 one -one shark here. Thoughts of Monkey Blade? I guess I don't have a lot of thoughts of Monkey Blade these days. It's not a deck I like that much right now. Could Blue White Saga Blade be a Luris deck? Uh, your Stoneforge Mystics kind of suck without Luris. And you also like Thought Monitor is one of the main reasons to play that deck. Yeah, no, you can't play Luris in that deck. Do I like the Jessica Burktop Monkey List? Yeah, I like, the, I like that deck a lot. I, I really like that one. Why do decks not run some pathways to replace basics? Well, in this deck, we have basics as like fetchable lands and lands that also make Glacial Fortress enter untapped. And you need you need basics to uh, to fetch. But you could play some pathways. I think that they're interesting options. I'm gonna counter this. Even though I kind of feel like it's bait. Sometimes you gotta take the bait. I gotta draw pretty well here. Gotta draw pretty well here. Yeah, Prismatic for three is unlocked. Here. Uh, right, play this weekend flashback bending. Well, if only Kiro will save us. How about Solitude? Mm, I don't know. I, I've, I've talked about this earlier, but it's like your like, interactive spots are pretty limited. I don't think that there's room for Solitude. Uh, Drowsy Tron seems like a rough matchup. I'll say that. I think it Torment's Crypt. I'll go to Impeccanon. And then, so 3-0 into 3-2 is pretty sad. I am liking this deck. Again, I don't think I broke it or anything, but I felt pretty good last night in testing. I don't, I don't know how I would add the ley lines to the deck, so I think I'm just going to run it back and um, still consider if we want ley line of sanctity. But I, I do think the suggestion's interesting. I've never been much of a ley line of sanctity gamer. How am I going to beat the matter shaper? 104.3.